Before I go today, I'm going to talk with another author that you'll find right here in the Keys, Lucy Burdett. She is the author of 11 Mysteries. Her latest book, entitled Topped Chef, will be released in May. So Lucy has a little preview for us this morning. Lucy, it's great having you back on the show. It's so Thank nice you. to be here. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Tell me about Topped Chef. So Top Chef is the third book in the Key West food critic mystery series. And it stars uh, Haley Snow, who is a food critic for Key Zest magazine. <laughs> Except in this book, she's been tapped to serve as a judge for a reality TV cooking show. So Ooh. that's the background for the story. <laughs> I like it. And now let's take it back just a minute, Lucy these food critic books. Uh, you're very popular for your food critic books and as you mentioned this is the third in the series. How did they all get started? What's the idea behind them? Well the the publisher which is a division of Penguin uh, was looking for a mystery featuring a food critic and uh, they didn't care so much about the setting. Well I love uh, eating and writing about food and talking about food mm -hmm. and I had been spending quite a bit of time in Key West so the combination seemed irresistible mm -hmm. so that's how it got started the first one was an appetite for murder mm -hmm. appetite for murder I like it <laughs> <laughs> and now in these books Lucy you actually do showcase some personalities from the Keys and and real restaurants that we'll find here. This is this is what's so much fun for me and I think people who are visiting or who live here enjoy it too. The restaurants are real so for example she has a, a date in Michael's restaurant mm -hmm. in Top Chef. Mm -hmm. um, she's eaten at a lot of other local places, Seven Fish and Bad Boy Burrito and she's eaten at B.O.'s restaurant mm -hmm. so all those are real. There is, she has to do her first bad review in Top Chef, which she's quite anxious about. That one I made up because I don't want to showcase someone's lousy food. Mm -hmm. So, and you'll see her walk through the sunset celebration and see the cat man with his cats. Mm -hmm. And you'll see her stopping to talk with the tarot reader. So there's a lot of local stuff. Also in this book, um, there was an auction to benefit the Waterfront Theater, and w what I donated was a character name. So a friend bought that to, and donated the, his money to the Waterfront and told me the character that he wanted me to use, mm -hmm. uh, who is Randy Thompson, who performs at the Aqua. So mm -hmm. he's, a big, he's a big part of the, of, of the book. Oh, great. Yeah. So we'll actually get to get a little taste of Randy Roberts then. In Randy your Thompson. Randy yeah. Thompson, excuse yes. me. There's too many I Randys know, too here. Many Randys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you say that you also, Lucy, get to kind of live through your main character in these books? Oh, I, I mean, I have to go see things that I might normally let go. Uh, this afternoon, I've got to go to the Mel Fisher Museum, for example, which, where I've never been because that's going to be a scene in one of the books. Um, mm -hmm. I eat where Haley eats and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I follow her around because the more realistic the the scene is the easier it is to write. Great. Now Top Chef, the third book, do you feel this is more of your favorite as opposed to the other two? Or? Oh, that's like asking about <laughs> your children, right? right. <laughs> Tough e question. And each one, uh, mm -hmm. as I've finished it, becomes my favorite. Mm -hmm. So this, this one was a, an awful lot of fun to write. The one I'm in the middle of now is the fourth one that will be out in uh, February, and that will be called Murder with Ganache. <laughs> it's hard to be in the middle. That's the hardest part of the writing, so mm -hmm. it's not my favorite right now. Okay. I love all of the titles. <laughs> They're books, fun. Lucy. Yeah. They are so fun. I mentioned you have written 11 mysteries. Is it always going to be mysteries for you, Lucy? One, one time I tried, I love reading women's fiction, so mm -hmm. stories that aren't mysteries gives me a little bit of a rest. So I tried writing uh, a story without a mystery in it, but it seemed difficult because you don't have that mystery structure. You don't have the plot laid out for you. You, don't, mm -hmm. you know there's got to be a bad guy. You know there has to be a murder. There's a detective. And, and in my case, there's an amateur sleuth. There are clues. You find a solution. 
that's to me easier than writing a, a plain old book. So mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't know. Long <laughs> answer. <laughs> You'll see what happens, yes. right? Lucy, are you going to be writing any more in the Food Critic series after the fourth one? The fourth one, Murder with Ganache, mm -hmm. and then the contract uh, calls for a fifth one, which will take place in Key West at Christmas. Mm -hmm. I don't have any idea what the plot will be, so I'm <laughs> taking ideas, but I know there will be at least five, and I hope more. Great. Lucy, I can tell you're having fun with these it's books, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and much different from your former career as a, as a psychologist. As a psychologist. Yeah. Well, I think you chose, you chose the right move, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being on. I look forward to reading Top Chef, which again will be released in May. People can check out your website, of course, for right. more information. And I know they, they will carry it at the Key West Island bookstore because they have them all. Great. Thank you, Lucy. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me this morning. I hope that you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.